I'm not going to allow this to go on on my watch. I'll say whoever behind bars before I see this covered up. A promise to get answers from the Polk County coroner over a man left to die in a ditch, but there's complete silence from the leadership in Cedartown tonight. This comes after an exclusive reveal investigation you saw right here on 11 Alive last night. Well, tonight, Faith Abube has new developments since that story aired. Almost 150,000 readers and counting and a social media firestorm. Step down now. That's the message from community members and some state officials. They're reacting to a reveal investigation into Cedartown Police Chief Jamie Newsom and State Representative Trey Kelly. Why didn't you call 911? Um, I think that the majority with Trey Kelly needs to be called on by all to immediately resign. That's Georgia State Representative Renita Shannon on the phone after learning of her colleague's role in the aftermath of a deadly hit and run crash in Cedartown. The driver, Ralph Dover, drove about a mile from the scene after hitting Eric Keyes on his bike. When he stopped, he didn't call police. He did not call 911. He called his friend, Georgia House Majority Whip Trey Kelly. Representative Kelly, who is also an attorney, did not call 911 either. While Eric laid in the ditch dying, Kelly called police chief Jamie Newsom at home. Anybody who's lacking the moral courage to place what may be good for your friend over potentially saving a person's life has no business in the Georgia General Assembly. The chief also did not call 911 that night. He called his sergeant to call him on the phone. By the time the officer got to the scene, it was too late. Eric died about 45 minutes later. The family's attorney says they've been watching the reaction to the reveal investigation. It's been extremely uh, comforting and supporting to the family and us. Uh, to know that people are on the side of the justice, they're on the side of the truth. Attorney Min Koo says the family is also appreciative of Jack Browning, the Polk County DA. Within hours of releasing our investigation, he released a statement saying, quote, our office has already begun the process of reviewing the investigation to determine what and who will be charged for the incident that resulted in Mr. Key's tragic death. I anticipate bringing those charges to a Polk County grand jury soon in the coming weeks. Koo says days earlier, the DA told her that wouldn't happen until summer 2020. Be that as it may, uh, we're extremely appreciative that the DA has worked expeditiously to move this case along. Koo says she believes this was an attempt at a cover-up and justice won't be served until all involved are held accountable not just the driver. It's clear that the protocols were blatantly disregarded and common sense was ignored. Instead, deliberate and intentional actions were taken to cover up a crime. All right, so here's what's happening next. The family attorney plans to sue the city, the chief, the state rep, and the driver. We also heard from the Georgia State Patrol today. A spokesperson says their investigation looked to not only into the crash itself, but also what happened after the crash. Five months later, the DA has now has a case file, and we're going to see if anybody's going to be charged in the future.